This is the Yoho National Park in the Rocky Mountains of Canada, one of the most spectacular mountain ranges in North America. A hundred years ago, a fossil field was discovered here at the Burgess Shale that may reveal how light shaped life on Earth. Well, this is one of the most important fossil sites in the world. I mean, actually, it's one of the most important scientific sites of any kind. And it's not just because of the number and diversity of animals you find fossilized in these rocks. It's because of their age. These fossils are over 500 million years old. There is virtually no record of complex life on Earth before this time. I mean, it's as if at one instant in this time we call the Cambrian era, complex multicellular life suddenly emerged almost intact on the planet. It's called the evolutionary Big Bang. Well, this is one of the beautiful animals you find up here in the fossil beds. It's called a trilobite. It's a very complex organism. It's got an external skeleton. It's got jointed limbs. But perhaps most remarkably, these, because these are compound eyes. They were very sophisticated. And this was one of the first predators to be able to detect shapes and see movement, and it could successfully chase its prey. These creatures were among the first to harness the light that filled the universe. Before they emerged, the rise and fall of the sun and the stars in the night sky simply went unnoticed. Now, there is a speculative theory that the emergence of the eye actually triggered the Cambrian explosion, this evolutionary Big Bang. Because once one species got eyes, then other species had also to develop eyes to either chase them as predators or evade them as prey. And that led to a, an evolutionary arms race. More and more complex life forms developed. So the evolution of the eye may have played a fundamental role in the emergence of complex life on Earth. And could have led to the evolution of our species. See, this little thing, although it looks unimpressive, may be the most important animal that we've ever discovered in our history. It's called a pikaya, and it's a little worm-like creature. But it's thought that this is a chordate, and that is the branch of life that we're in. So it could be that this is our earliest known ancestor. What's also fascinating is it's also thought that this may have been able to detect light. It may have had primitive cells that were sensitive to light and allowed it, in a very loose sense, to see. And if that's true, then this little guy may be our direct ancestor, and those little cells may be the things that evolved over hundreds of millions of years into our eyes.